We're excited to bring to you MSP 430's latest low-cost development tool, the MSP 430 FR5969 Launchpad Evaluation Kit. For a detailed listing of our Launchpad family offering, please visit ti.com slash launchpad. Inside the box we have the FR5969 Launchpad Evaluation Kit, one sharp memory LCD booster pack plug-in module, a USB cable, and a few connectors for prototyping. The FR5969 Launchpad bundles the evaluation kit with the easy-to-use sharp memory LCD booster pack with capacitive touch sliders. This allows developers to build applications that can have interactive menu selection options and user inputs. The board comes equipped with an MSP430 FR5969 device that features 64 kilobytes of FRAM, a 12-bit differential ADC, and a host of other features. In this corner, you can see two LEDs and two switches. 20-pin connectors are already soldered to accept compatible booster packs. A special feature of this board that showcases the ultra-low power capabilities of the FR5969 is the 0.1 farad super cap. Since the board can perform a number of functions at well under one microamp, the super cap can work as a power supply for the entire system. The top portion of the target board features the MSP430 EasyFET emulation and debugging tool used to program the target. The jumpers you see here can be used to connect or disconnect the emulation portion from the main board. The LCD booster pack features a sharp 96 display and two capacitive touch sliders, one on each side. The booster pack can be directly plugged into the launch pad with the connector end facing the switches like this. Take out the USB cable and plug the board into any USB power source such as a PC. The board comes pre-programmed with a demo application that allows you to try out the various features. Once you get past the starting screen, the main menu appears on the LCD and presents the following options. Clock, FRAM speed, battery free, active power, slider ball. Use the left capacitive touch slider to select the preferred option and press the switch S3 on the bottom right to enter the desired mode. The first mode is the clock application. In this mode, a clock face is displayed. With the launch pad set to clock mode, you can place a multimeter across the power jumper to measure the system power for maintaining RTC in low power mode 3. In this mode, the device can wake up in under 7 microsecond and consumes about 0.7 microamps of current. The second mode is used to show the speed with which FRAM can be programmed. The target device performs in-system FRAM writes at the maximum speed of 8 megabytes per second. Writes to FRAM are not only super fast, but also ultra low power. This is easily demonstrated by unplugging the USB cable and removing the emulation jumpers. Now the device is running solely from the supercap and continuing to write to FRAM at 8 megabytes per second. You can see that the device continues to write to FRAM while being powered from just the supercap. The third mode is battery free RTC. Before entering this mode, ensure that the supercap is efficiently charged. This is done by plugging in the board via USB and allowing a few minutes of charge time. Upon entering the mode, the board displays a warning screen that lets the user know that the display is about to be turned off. This is done to maximize power saving in LPM 3.5 or RTC mode. Once the device is in RTC mode, unplug the USB cable as before and allow the board to be powered exclusively by the supercap. In this mode, the device wakes up every minute, samples the capacitor charge, and writes the samples to non-volatile FRAM. By pressing the switch, you can see the remaining charge left in the supercap. With a single charge, the supercap can power the RTC mode for over 20 hours. 
Mode 4 is Active Power Measure. In this mode, the user can experiment with various frequency and cache hit ratio settings to see the power impact of these settings on the device. Slider Ball is the fifth mode. Using the slider ball, you can work through the application code to learn how to interface two capacitive touch sliders to the FR5969 device using the MSB430 CapTouch library software. Your best web resource is ti.com slash launchpad where you can see more in-depth board and feature information. The Launchpad Wiki also provides great information about demos and basic projects. As always, the TI product folder for this board contains information such as the schematics, user's guide, and the out-of-the-box demo code. Before you start developing applications, download TI's Eclipse-based IDE Code Composer Studio for free. You can also use simple projects like the one found on the Launchpad Wiki to enable rapid development. To buy the FR5969 Launchpad with built-in emulation and the Sharp Memory LCD Booster Pack, please visit the website shown here. Finally, be sure to visit the MSB430 subforum on E2E and let us know how you're using this new tool to develop cool new projects.